it's that time of year when everyone's excited and happy. And I guess I am too, but I mean, I don't know how Carl's going to react to Christmas. I think he's probably just going to get the idea of presents and then just go crazy. I don't know. I hope it ends up well for me. Yeah. I'm going to go tell Carl about Christmas. Oh, he's so close. Oh, oh no. It's that guy. He's back. He's trying to beat me. Oh, I can beat him. I've got a Lamborghini. All right. Make this good. Hey, Carl. Hey, Carl, what are you doing? What? Oh, um. Oh, I was just reading this Star Wars, um. Uh, the Star Wars comic. It was really fun. I, I like it. It's it's really cool, Pops, yeah. So I totally wasn't playing video games. Right. Well, Carl, Carl, maybe you could explain that video game remote behind you. Oh. Uh, and the TV, Carl. Oh, uh, well, I, uh, I, um, uh, uh, Pops, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Um, well, look. <laughs> I know you're lying. Just stop it. Now, I want, I came here to tell you something. What do you want to tell me? It's about a holiday we're going to have called Christmas. Oh, it sounds boring. It sounds boring, eh? Well, what if I told you there were presents involved with things you like to play with? When do we start? Well, it's not for a while, Carl. It's, it's in like four days or something. I don't know. But, um... I wanted to tell you about it. Oh, it sounds good. Okay, so you might be wondering why that tree is there. Oh, yeah, why is it there? Well, that's a Christmas tree. Is there a point in a Christmas tree? Of course there's a point in a Christmas tree, Carl. The Christmas tree... Yeah, you, you like it? Okay, so... Under the Christmas tree, there are presents. I need to go open my presents. Wait, no, wait, wait. C Carl, no, you can't open them now. You have to wait till Christmas. But then what's the point? There really is no point. It's too tempting. And, um, why not open them a little early, Pop? <sighs> but the full fun of Christmas is waiting for the presents. And then that one glorious day, you get to open them all. It wouldn't be fun if you just did it now, and then on Christmas, there'd be nothing. All right. You've got to wait till Christmas to open the presents. Oh, oh, so many presents. Yeah, Carl. Well, got to wait till Christmas. Oh, man. Oh. But, Carl, do you want to know who delivers the presents? Who? A guy named Santa Claus. That's a spooky name. Sounds like something from Halloween. Except that was a while ago, and it wasn't very fun. He gave me squash. Okay, look, look, look. Carl. Santa Claus is actually a really nice guy. In fact, he delivers the presents. How's he get in our house? He goes down the chimney. Oh. Where does he live? In the North Pole. Why the North Pole? You don't know what that is. You, you don't have social studies or anything at your school. Oh, well, I don't know. <sighs> okay, back to the point. Santa Claus delivers presents. How's yeah? But if he comes down the chimney. Wait a minute. That's breaking and entering. Well, uh, I guess yeah. That that is, but. <laughs> Sad, Carl? Because the police are gonna get Santa Claus. The police are gonna get. Why? Because he's breaking and entering, so they're gonna arrest him. <laughs> and that means no presents. Oh, no, Carl. The police know it's Santa Claus. The police are nice to Santa Claus, and they, they, they let him, um. They, they let him break and. Well, they, they let him go inside houses, okay? And uh, deliver presents to all the kids, because that's a nice thing to do, and he's not some creepy stalker. Oh, okay, you have me worried there for a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's Santa, and this is his hat. Whoa. See? Oh. 
Can I keep it? Sure. Yeah, it's really great, but he has this red and uh, white outfit, and it's just, yeah. Okay. Well, it's kind of scary, but okay. Well, yeah, okay. Great. Great, Nino Chez. Great. Thank <music> you.